Hi guys, it's, this is really annoying. I need to tie back to my curtains, right. Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Um, again, apologies, I've not been filming because I've been super busy. Um, so yeah, as you can probably tell in my last video, I've become a blondie. I used to be blonde a while ago and decided I wanted to go back to it. I've got a little headband in right now because these little bits at the front need to grow and they're really annoying so yeah. And I have no makeup on so enjoy my spotty face. Yay! Anyway, so today's video I thought I'd talk about when I met Mark Ferris. I've met him like four times um, and literally i just wanted to be like best mates with him i've even told it to him but when i met him i used to be and my youtube channel used to be called i sarah and i've grown out of that kind of channel um and i made a new one so if he does click on this video which I doubt very much, even though he has watched some of my videos before on I, Sarah. Um, he's probably going to be so confused because for one, I have blonde hair and I met him when I was brown haired. And two, I have a different name. Yeah. But anyway, I wanted to do like a little story time to tell you about when I met Matt Ferris because he's just the most genuine and inspirational YouTuber that I've ever met. And he's just so down to earth and kind and to be fair I think he deserves so many more subscribers and views that, that he's got and he's already really really successful but he literally like he did deserves so much more but yeah I thought I'd kind of just like give you a little story time on when I met him because every single time I've met him I've just absolutely loved it and I just wanted to meet him again and the last summer in the city that I went to, I'm so, so gutted that I didn't go to because that is literally, we just went for him and for some reason he wasn't on the lineup. But yeah, so I thought I'd do a little story time. And if you've met Mark Ferris before, please let me know down in the comments. Or if you'd like to meet him, let me know. Or if you watch his channel, let me know. And yeah, let's get into the stories. So. I do have vlogs of all the times that I've met him, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't think I've vlogged one of them purely because it was hectic, but I mean, yeah. So let me get the times up. So let me see, let me see, let me see, see, see. The first time I met him was in 2016 and we was, me and my sister were so, 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 so gutted that we didn't get him in the meet and greet for the summer in the city which is where we met him at and we were so gutted that we didn't get him like really really gutted so we decided because he kept tweeting out that it doesn't matter if we've not got him in the meet and greet um he will always be around somewhere at somewhere in the city so we put his notifications on like little stalkers <laughs> put his notifications on for twitter and he tweeted that he was meeting people in the meet and greet, not in the meet and greet, after his meet and greet. So we went on the hunt for him and originally I couldn't find him but Tracy saw him because she's a lot taller than me. And yeah, so she found him and we went in his little, his queue for the meet and greet. And yeah, we got to meet him and he was just so lovely. Like, yeah, it was just really, really lovely but you could you could tell that he wasn't well and he literally wasn't well. He got sent home afterwards and he literally did a three hour meet and greet and then went straight to meet people that didn't get him in the meet and greet. That's how loyal he is to his fans. Like that is crazy. Not every single YouTuber would do that. But he was just so lovely when we met him and yeah, that's what made us want to meet him again because he's just, just a genuine person. He's so inspirational as well. So that was like a little quick meet meet and greet thing um that we saw him at so that brought us on to next year's summer in the city in 2017 we got matt ferris in the meet and greet so we were pretty buzzed about that and 
we literally could not wait but we were like we met him for like five seconds last year he's not going to remember us and yeah so we were in the queue and as soon as he saw us he was like oh my god I've met you before and we were like yeah like how did you remember that and he was like I remember everything so he met my sister first and he was really really lovely with my sister and then I went up to him and he was like hi I met you before like he said to my sister and then he was like I think I've watched your vlog and I was like oh my god my idol has watched my vlog and I was literally trying to keep the excitement and the fangirl inside of me whilst I met him because I didn't want to make a fool of myself and I was like yeah I'm vlogging again and he was like oh cool and then yeah we he filmed a little bit for my vlog and then we went away and then I freaked out like literally if you watch my vlog you will see it like I'll leave the links down below but he was Gen he's just genuinely so lovely and I just love the fact that he remembered us because we literally did like a 10 second meet and greet with him and he wasn't well at the time like yeah that was just like crazy and then he did like a little spontaneous meet and greet again after his actual three hour meet and greet and we en we found him again and the line got cut off, cut off behind us this is like a really little story now so the line got cut off behind us and he was like oh when he saw me and my sister again he was like oh my god I love meeting you girls like he wasn't bothered that he met us again but then there was a girl that started crying behind us because the queue got um cut off and she was really really upset that she couldn't meet him and he literally was like oh don't cry don't cry and went over and like give her a hug and stuff even though security like cut the queue and I just thought that was just so lovely of him like he didn't have to he could have just left it and also he didn't have to do that spontaneous meet and greet like he's just such a lovely person and yeah that I thought it was just so cute that he obviously decided to meet and meet, meet that girl even though he wasn't supposed to like he he's a, such a rule breaker mm -hmm. and then oh yeah and then obviously we had hello world which is an event that Zoella Zoe Sug whatever you want to call her um kind of like created with all like the bigger youtubers and Mark Ferris was one of the people from the meet and greet so we, me and my sister had VIP tickets which meant we were allowed to go in earlier and we got like a tour around Hello World and our tour guide was Joe Sugg and Mark Ferris wasn't a tour guide, he was just there to meet people and we literally was getting tour, like a tour from Joe Sugg and we saw him up at the top like in the seats and me and my sister were just like kind of like looking up kind of like waiting for him to like spot us to see if he recognised us again and my sister was like you're trying to get him to like see you aren't you and I was like mm -hmm. and I just kept looking and looking and then he caught my eye and then he saw my sister and he was just like <gasps> and it was just so cute so we would just laughed and waved back and um, yeah so he spotted us so he knew we were there but he knew we was going anyway because we told him at the last time we saw him and then this is the cutest thing ever so we were watching like the main show bit if any of you went to hello world they had like a load of stands and then at the end there was like a main like performance kind of thing and yeah we were like stood kind of like at this the back where this ramp was and all the youtubers went up the ramp and sat in like a little box off area and mark ferris went started walking up the ramp and i just went mac and he turned around and was like oh my god hi and then he like literally got a selfie with us and then he was like wanting to talk to us but everybody wanted pictures of him and he didn't want to move and we were like Matt just get pictures it's fine like we can hang out another time don't you worry and <laughs> yeah we just I just thought it was like so cute like just like he remembered us again and he was just like so like his face just lights up so much when he sees us and I thought it was so cute like literally he every time we meet him he actually melts my heart it's oh my god like literally i just want to be best friends with him he's just so like lovely and then we met him again in 2018 at summer in the city we got him in the ballot again for a meet and greet and his meet and greet was at the same time as nikki and sammy's 
and we tried to fa fast track Nikki and Sammy's but they basically said that we weren't allowed so we went to Matt Ferris's and had to fast, fast track his even though we didn't want to because obviously he was the one that we wanted to meet the most and yeah we got up to the front and he was like waiting for the next person to come but obviously we were next and he didn't realise and then when he turned to see us he the first word out of his mouth was like oh my god my favourite girls and literally you can hear it like we were filming so on the vlog you can hear that and yeah this was like the funniest meet and greet that I've ever 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 done and because he cannot floss to save his life like the dance move floss I thought it'd be funny to try and teach him how to floss because I dance obviously and yeah I tried to teach him how to floss I failed miserably but it was funny and he then turned around and was like oh my god are you filming this because he remembered that we vlogged which I thought was quite funny and yeah like his friend Cheyenne was there as well and she was just laughing her head off and it was just, I think, wait, no, it might have been his sister. I can't remember. She was just laughing his head off. And I don't know, it was just the funniest meet and greet I've ever had with anybody. And the fact that he actually wanted to try and learn was the funniest thing ever. And I just thought, like, something relaxed like that. And he's not, like, trying to rush through you. And he takes his time, just genuinely takes his time to, like, listen to what you've got to say. And tries his to just spend a lot of time with you and it's not like a quick rush in rush out meet and greet kind of thing i just think he's so 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 down to earth and i just i just love him i literally just love him i just want to be best mates with him literally i would happily go down to london or brighton spend the day with him with no cameras and just get to know him i would just do that like literally I just genuinely want to like be best mates with him like I've said this to him on when he did a live stream he said it and he was like oh my god I know Sarah I Sarah I've met her at somewhere in the city like I just want to be best mates with him he's just so cute and lovely and down to earth and super super nice and yeah that's a lot to say for people to somebody that I've only met in meets and greets but he genuinely takes a lot of time to like get to know you my bash is flashing it's good job i'm nearly done but uh, i'm gonna leave obviously it was i'll be putting pictures in and stuff throughout this video um and i'll leave the links as well i'll try and do like little eye cards to each vlog that i'm on about um this curtain's doing my head in and you can check them out because yeah, i just love him this is why I just made a video of him and you're just going to get sick of me being like I just love him, I want to be best friends but it's just genuinely how I feel guys it's just my emotions, how I feel yeah if you ever get the chance to meet Matt Ferris literally just do it because he's just so kind and so nice yeah Matt Ferris, if you're watching this you're probably not because I'm not I Sarah anymore, I'm Tilly Sarah Sarah Tilly, whatever it is I've forgotten my old channel's name because I'm just the best. But yeah. Um that's my little story time of when I met Matt Ferris and he's just love him. I literally just want to be friends with him. But yeah, that's my little story time. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you've met him and have some story times of your own, let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next week with another video because I am going to be filming weekly like 100%. I know I've said this before in the past and I've not, but I'm going to. I'm going to, to be dedicated again to my channel and I will be filming weekly. And I go to Brighton. When do you watch this? You watch this on Thursday. I go to Brighton on Tuesday, the Tuesday after you watch this. So I'm going to be vlogging, so make sure you check to just blah 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 so we get your words out um uh, make sure to subscribe to my vlogging channel i will also leave it on the end card after this and check it out and check my videos out because y'all yeah, i love my vlogging channel but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next week with another video bye